now come back to main activity and we need to add a click listener to our button upload so we have button upload dot set on click listener and here we will call the function upload image like this so let's create private fun upload image inside the function upload image first we will check if selected image is equals to equals to null in that case we will display a error message and we will stop the further execution and I will use snack bar to display the error message and writing the snack bar code is a bit long so I will define this thing in a separate file so I will create a file named utils and here I will define an extension function that is an extension of view to this function we will pass the message that we want to display and inside this function we will display the snack bar so we have snack bar dot make for the view we will pass this because it is an extension of view then the message that we want to display and the length of the snack bar then we will call also and we will set the action of the snack bar that is action ok and when the user will click this ok we will dismiss the snack bar and finally we will show the snack bar so we can use this function to display the snack bar so come back to main activity and here we will get the root layout that is our constraint layout and it is the root layout so we will use layout root dot snack bar and we will display the message that select an image first you can display any message and we will stop the further execution now we need to upload the image if the control comes here because the validation succeeds the user selected an image and now we need to upload the image and here comes the tricky part because we have the URI of the image and to upload the image we need the actual path of it. We can get the actual path but it is not stable and the method that we were using earlier to get the actual path is not working anymore in Android 10. And Android also recommends that we should not get the actual path from external storage. Still we can get it there are methods but it is kind of not reliable so what we can do is and what android suggests is we get the file from the external storage and we create a copy of that file in the app specific storage so every application in the android device has its own app specific temporary storage that is deleted when the application is installed and to access this location we do not need any storage permission so here what we will do is we will copy the selected file to that app specific storage so let's see how we can do this first we will create a file descriptor so we have parcel file descriptor and we will get it using the content resolver so we will use content resolver dot open file descriptor for the first parameter we will pass the selected image for the next parameter we will pass r because we want to open the file in read only mode and for the last parameter we can pass null and we will use an elvis operator here if we didn't get a non null file descriptor we will stop the further execution using this elvis operator so we have the file descriptor now we will create a file inside our app specific cache directory so let's create a file we have file we will pass the cache directory here for the first parameter and for the next parameter we will pass the name of the file and we need to get the name of the file from this uri 
so what we will do is we will create one more extension function and this time we need to define an extension of content resolver so we will create a function named get file name and it will give us the name from the URI now inside this function first we will define a var name and it is of type string now we will get a cursor from our content resolver and to get the cursor we will call the query function that is inside content resolver so we will write query and we will pass the URI of the file and for all the other parameters we will pass null now again we will use the use function because this is a cursor and we need to close it and we can use the use function and we do not need to worry about closing the resource now here we will write at dot move to first so we will move to the first index and if we will put a question mark here then it is not now yeah fine so we move to the first index and from the first index we will get the name so we have name equals to cursor dot get string and here we need to pass the column index so we will get the column index from the cursor as well so we will write it dot get column index and here we have a predefined constant that is openable columns dot display name and we have the name that we will return from this function now come back to main activity and here we will write content resolver dot get file name and we will pass the selected image URI like this so we have the file now we need to create an input stream so we have input stream equals to file input stream and we need to pass a file descriptor to the file input stream constructor and we will use the parcel file descriptor dot file descriptor for this so we have the input stream now we need to create an output stream so we have output stream equals to file output stream and inside this we will pass our file that we created in our cache directory so we have input stream file and the output stream now we will copy the input stream to our output stream like this now we have the file from the external storage copied to our app specific storage and now we can use the file this file to upload it so let's do it first we will set the progress bar of our upload to zero so progress bar dot progress equals to zero then we will create our request body so we have body equals to upload request body for the first parameter we will pass the file that we already created content type as image and the last parameter is the upload callback and here we need to pass our upload callback and here we can pass this and we can implement the upload callback interface into our main activity class so here we will write upload request body dot upload callback we also need to override the function that does on progress update so everything is fine we have the body we have the file content type and the callback now we will call our my api and we will call the function upload image for the first parameter we need to pass a multi part and to create this again we will use the multi part body class dot part dot create form data for the first parameter here we will pass the name that we need to send to our api in my case it is image because you can see in the postman the name should be image 
then we will send the file name and then we will send the body that contains the file so we will write body here for the next parameter we will create a request body so we have request body dot create for the first parameter we will write media type dot parse and it is multi part form data and for the next parameter we need to put the content and here we can put anything that we want to send for the image description so for now I'm just writing image from my device you can write anything you want or if you want to take input from the user you can create an input field in the UI and get the text from there but for now I'm using this hard-coded string now finally we will call the nq function we will write object and then call back make sure you use the retrofit callback here because we have so many callbacks here and we need to find the callback from retrofit and we have this one it is an interface so here we will write callback of type upload response and now we need to implement the members so we have on failure and we have on response on response means image uploaded successfully on failure means we have some failure so in case of failure we will display the snack bar with the error message that's it when the image is successfully uploaded we will set the progress bar progress to 100 and we will display the snack bar root layout dot snack bar and we will write response body message like this and we can write two string to make sure it is not null so we have our upload image function completed now we just need to update the progress here inside our on progress update function so here we will write progress bar dot progress equals to percentage that's all and everything is fine now let's try running the application to see if it is working or not now let's select an image and let's upload you can see image uploaded successfully and we seen the progress bar now let's check the database you can see we have the image uploaded in this path and we have the description text as well if you go to your uploads folder then you can see we have the image uploaded from the device so it is working absolutely fine you can get my source code from the link that is given in the description of this video and in case you are having any confusion or question feel free to comment it below and if you found this video helpful then please hit on that like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thanks for watching everyone this is bilal khan now signing off